Let's shift focus to another stock which is taking a pounding much harder than the weakness in the market is really lending to it, which is Mahindra Finance. Take a look at that. Almost 13% down in trade and that slumps after the Reserve Bank of India asks it to stop using outsourced recovery agents following the tragic Hazari Bagh incident. In fact, our colleague Abhishek Kotari joins us with all the details of this development. And Abhishek, how does it impact the business if it does? Uh, well, Nisha, as you mentioned, you know, RBI has directed m and Finance uh, to stop using, uh, you know, uh, or outsourcing agents for recoveries and collections. So they can carry out a recovery or reposition of vehicles via their own, uh, you know, uh, set of employees. Total number of employees over there is around 19,750 uh, odd. So m and Finance has responded to that. They have said that uh, they have stopped using third-party uh, repositions. They'll further examine whether and how third party agents will be used in the future and they gave a clarification with respect to number of vehicles uh, which is around 3,000 to 4,000 vehicles out of 4,000 to 5,000 vehicles will get impacted uh, from this RBI rule. Uh, we have reached out to Shiram Transport as well. They responded saying that all their uh, disbursals and recovery mechanism is via their own set of employees and no vehicle repositions are done via third party. We also reached out to Chola Mandalam. They responded saying that they have a total of uh, 13,000 in-house employees uh, for collections and recovery and they have agents as well which is around 1,500. However, when the agents go out for recovery, they are accompanied by uh, you know the employees of the company as well. Back to you. All right, Abhishek, thanks a lot for getting us all of the details there. m and Finance down around 14%, pulling the rest of the NBFCs down as well, the likes of Sriram and Chola, like Abhishek mentioned.